What is up everybody? So I mean it's a long time coming and pretty much I make a video like this every couple months when I do switch daily drivers and I feel like every time I make this video I get less and less excited which is kind of sad and it kind of shows the trend of like phones and everything like where they're pretty much getting marginally better instead of like huge leaps and bounds and I made a video about this not too long ago but I'm sure you guys could probably guess what my new daily driver is and I want to preface this by saying like for a phone to be my daily driver back in the day had to have been like crazy because I do a lot of research but now it's just kind of like there's really not too much competition because I'm so focused and honed in on iOS and the whole iPhone software so really you guys could probably guess which one it is. Alright I had to switch locations but my new daily driver is the Nexus One. I know like a lot of you guys were talking like you guys probably guessed it but yeah I really do think this phone is really awesome and uh it's got, <laughs> that joke was so stupid I don't even know why I did that. Like it barely was even funny but no my new daily driver is the iPhone 10. It was a long time coming I mean I had this phone for a very long time a long long time ago and I never really switched it out but now I finally did and it really took a long time because as you guys saw in that one video I was like you know what I, I don't really want to switch it but I really want to switch at the same time it's just that I'm kind of bored of it and stuff and because it's really not too much difference and after using it for like two or three hours I can tell you it's exactly the same I really feel no difference jumping from an iPhone 7 Plus to the iPhone 10, but what I can say is that I do see what Apple can do with this in the future. And this is kind of the same thing where I said about the iPad. Before on iOS 10, it was pretty much the same thing as an iPhone, but just bigger, but then iOS 11 came and it really kind of shook things in a little bit. It made the iPads have more functionality than like a regular iPad before, and it really made it and differentiated itself from like the iPhones and everything. So. What I can tell you is even though it might be the same thing in my opinion as the 7 Plus and A Plus and all those other phones, I do see how this iPhone could potentially be 30 times better than what it is now um, just from the gestures and hopefully they do add some type of multitasking thing so you can use two apps at the same time. And I did get an Apple leather case for this as well. It's really weird. I don't know why I got this one. I had a silicone case for the 7 Plus and I really liked it a lot more. Yeah, I mean if you're in the market for a new phone, I mean definitely consider it. I'm not like a hundred times more excited or anything like that if you guys couldn't tell from the 30 videos I've already done about it. But but yeah, there's, this is just a little heads up. If you see the iPhone 10 from now on or you have to ask that question of, oh, what's your daily driver, this and that, just know the iPhone 10 is my daily driver from this point on forth or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to end it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments. And I actually have one thing. It's kind of weird. I noticed that whenever I shut the screen, it takes like an extra second to shut it off. And I updated to the iOS. 12 beta but on iOS 11.2 which I had before this it still did the same thing so I click the home button right and it takes like an extra second which is kind of weird it's not the end of the world but it's just kind of a weird I don't know if it's a bug or if it's a feature but it's it exists so at least you guys can see that but guys that is pretty much it if you have any questions or anything leave them down in the comment section below hit that like button but definitely definitely hit that subscribe button we're still giving away an iphone success and an iphone se on the channel and in order to enter all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter and instagram both those links are down in the description so make sure you guys enter that but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out till then